Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to Willow Springs in the US. Uh, we're going to do 10 laps today in the McLaren Center. Uh, I'm going to qualify and we'll play second out of 20 cars. We're going to have a bit of fun, have a run here and have a bit of a chat. So let's get this underway and see how we go. I've had to wait for a little while now, so um, it's good to get back into the into the videos and into racing. Oh, swamped a little bit then. So, Willow Springs. And uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because I've been off for a little bit, uh, got sick, and then was kind of all over the place with the, uh, the, the tracks that I was working on. So, um, Corti, uh, Phil Rob, and myself have been working on this track. Uh, and Cordy released it just the other day. Um, Cordy did most of the, uh, well, Cordy did all of the conversion work. Phil Rob did some fantastic DirectX 11 work, and I worked on the AIW. So you've got a fastest, a block, and a, a wet line. Although I'm not sure why I did that. This is in the middle of the uh, Mojave Desert. Um, and the reason that I've chosen the McLarens just to to show this uh, circuit off is because. Willow Springs is known for its extremely high speed corners. Um, you should see this car dipping into the 300s on that corner there, so let's see how we go next lap. Um, this is uh, quite a significant, historically significant circuit. Willow Springs um, was first constructed in 1952, um, and it was originally supposed to be uh, a copy of Indianapolis, but they didn't have the land for it, so they turned it into a, they, at the last minute they decided it was going to be a road course. Uh, and the very first races were held in November of 1953, and that was on um, an oil dirt circuit, but by the same time next year, this track was fully paved. Um, <coughs> and it's one of the only circuits we'll find around the world that are still in its original layout, so nothing has changed uh, with the circuit itself in its entire life, um, except for uh, just the pits. So the pits were extended twice. Um, it's been family owned since 1962, initially, initially a lease, and then um, in I think it was 1980, it was the full uh, purchase of the circuit. I'm getting pressured. <coughs> um, Another very, very cool thing about the circuit is that George Lucas actually wrote and directed a short film here, seven minutes uh, long, called One Minute 42 and 8 Seconds. Um, and it's uh, basically a racing qualification uh, short story. Um, yeah, very, just a very cool little piece of trivia about the circuit. Um, I actually really like this, so I'm going to keep working on the uh, AI line here. I'm going to keep iterating it and iterating it and making it faster and faster. There's a few things around the circuit that I'm not 100% happy with, so I'm going to keep working on it. I'll, uh, I'll just pick those up as we're going around. So uh, I've fixed uh, an issue there. There's a bit of a um, certain cars here because the top of the hill is extremely low speed and on the brow of, of the mountain itself the cars get very light at the rear so um, oh that was that was shocking oh no I'm gonna get taken come on come on come on he's gonna have a crack isn't he oh he's flipped whoa <laughs> that should look good in the replay so my promise to you guys is that I will continue to make videos uh, and continue to work on AIWs for everybody. Um, the next one that I should be upping uh, will be uh, Monza GP. Uh, just tweaking that at the moment, uh, working with the guy that requested that one. And then I'll pop that out for everybody once I get approval from the original um, track creator, or got rather the guys that are working on it currently. Uh, I'm also working on uh, a couple of other tracks with Cordy and Phil Rob at the moment, so I won't talk about those. Um, but they should be out soon. Oh, oh they're going to crack at each other. And this is my chance, this is my chance.
very bumpy section of the circuit just there. He's right there, isn't he? Is he right there? He's taking the inside line. I just don't want to play around to the migration settings are quite high. So yeah, this section here, I'm going to keep working on and working on um, this rod of the brow, this mountain here. Very, very low downforce and low speed. So um, the cars want to step out and, and they do kind of attack each other there and push each other onto the dirt on the left-hand side. Uh, I've corrected one major issue, which was cars clipping the inside curb there and then uh, destabilizing them further and forcing them out onto the dirt no matter what. Um, the cars also currently are braking a little bit early there and I think I can get the cars to break a little bit later for this corner too. But other than that I think the, fan the circuit looks fantastic. Um, Cordy's done some some changes to some objects around the track for me. So he's um, he's replaced the start finish lights and um, pushed those further out so they, they can be seen uh, from first and second position. They couldn't be seen previously. And he's uh, he's moved. Oh that was that was that was very oh, that was average. Sorry guys. He's also adjusted some of the pit objects too because uh, depending on the car uh, there was a huge amount of issues actually getting them out of the pits uh, because of the um, the team stalls that are pushed up against the wall and um, the location of the actual tents themselves, the garages. So he's made alterations to all of those and Phil Rob has done absolutely fantastic work with the textures as usual. I'm going to just keep this together for 10 laps. Oh mate's pressuring me, really pressuring me. Unfortunately guys you haven't really got to see any of the uh, kind of the blocking lines or anything like that. They might show up in the video hopefully. The external camera. <laughs> what? Oh wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting to lose that. I love the sound of this car. The external sound of this car is fantastic. That continual crackle and over pop. Come on, come on, come on. It's going to be quite hard on tyres in an enduro. I know that um, NASA run enduro is here. And prototypes. And the Mustangs run here as well. Got a bit loose there. Really got to run up to the wall there. Carrying lots of speed through that corner there, 250 almost. Oh. Lock up for me. That gave Lucan an opportunity. These guys are going at each other as well. He's really putting on the. So I've got the cars set to 105. My, my aim is. Um, to try and get as close as possible to 100 skill uh, and make them competitive for me. So kind of this level, maybe a little bit faster, 100. I really want to try and concentrate on the top of the mountain here, make it nice and smooth. Um, basically the whole lead up the mountain and then that just that section coming down there, I want to smooth out the, uh, the throttle response or the throttle action for the cars. There we go, I'll make took a different line then. That up. All those guys are having a crack at each other behind, so that helped me. A new low for me, going from second to third. <laughs> but it's good to be back. Oh, oh, accident behind then. It's definitely good to be back, so I'm going to keep putting out videos. Um, I'm hoping that. Hoping tomorrow that AMD, that'll date this video, I'm hoping tomorrow that AMD will release their um, typical Christmas adrenaline patch um, and fix 
some of the major issues I've been seeing oh, with this um, 5700 XT card, lots of drop frames, little micro stutters, that type of thing. Touch wood, it's kind of held off for this race. Um, but it's definitely a card issue. It, uh, it throttles up and down far too quickly. It doesn't hold the throttle up while it's uh, under under pressure. And then I get little micro stars, which is really annoying, especially when I'm trying to record. Oh, I'm back behind it. A bit of a mistake then. Come on. Oh, last lap. Can I get back to second? Come on, come on, come on. And this here, so up the hill here, I want to smooth out the throttle there so the cars aren't actually braking. Here as well, and then brake a little bit late here, because as you can see, I could brake later than them. And they seem to get on the throttle quite well through here, although, oh mate, oh! Round trousers. Oh mate's tyres might have been going a little bit. I don't know how you'd run an enduro here, the tyres would be absolutely shredded. Come on. So, second to second, if I can keep this together. Oh, total brain fade. You can tell how long it's been since I've actually had a proper race. Oh, and there we go. And across the line. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I will put the link to the track in the description. Uh, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll be sure to upload more content soon. And I hope you enjoy driving here, guys. Have a good one. See you later.